So, we're parents. <laughs> we're parents. I don't believe it. I'll believe it when I see it. He's right down there, you guys. He is right down there. If you're watching, we're at our kitchen table. River is our son's name. Surprise, surprise, we're taking the cat out of the bag, kid out of the veg early. We'll give you his first name. <laughs> kid out of the veg? I mean, he wasn't early. He was a little late. Yeah, let's get no, him the No, that's what they say, right on time. He was right on time. He came exactly when he was supposed to. He actually did, right? <laughs> hey, look at you, you're so put together. I know. Huh? Loosen up. <laughs> this is our podcast. This is, no one cares. <sighs> Three people are going to listen to this. This is for us. It's true. Look, I put a lot of work into I this. I know. He just spent four hours <laughs> setting this up. <laughs> How long were you setting this up in real reality? Maybe three hours? It's a long time. From when I, from when I opened the new recording stuff, three hours, yeah. Oh, yeah, because we have new recording stuff. As you can see, our setup's a little diff diff. It's hilarious for you to say Is it we. better? <laughs> so we have new recording stuff. She couldn't name a hey, single thing. We are an uh, unit now. We always have. I'm been. in get. Oh, crap. Where's the ring? Okay, I'm a mother. Why'd we I buy just, it? I have to do dishes. Why'd I get it? I have to do dishes. I have to sweep. I have a son. See? Proof. Keep it down, River. Ah. Uh, it's bad for audio. <laughs> Oh no, he's no. gonna cry and we're gonna have cry. to cut. You made him cry. I made him cry? Why? Because I was that. making fun of his sounds? You 100% did that. He's comfy. Actually, he's probably gonna fight through it. He goes like this. Yeah. You learn your kids' hunger cues pretty quick. <laughs> we had all these like videos to lead up to birth, and it's like, learn your child's hunger cues. And it taught us what to look for, and his is definitely. Yeah, you might want to watch the video because then you can see half of Johnny's tongue is blue. That's a hunger cue. He sticks his tongue out. Yeah, but it, not to be confused with the I got a burp up cue, which is more wide tongue. Oh, yeah, he just throws up. Kids just throw up. A lot. A lot more than... Now, he, Russell? He's never scratched at a cabinet. Yeah, why is he scratching at the cabinet? It's like when, fa <laughs> when me as a dad put in the work to set up stuff, all Everything, the kids Yeah. Well, go, this is life. He's lifting the rug. Our dog's lifting the rug. He's just never done these right. things. Okay, so we're parents. Let's get back on track but for you. We got engaged. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I proposed to you. Should I go put on the ring? It's fine. I love the ring, by the way. Obsessed. Obsessed. So it's glad. gorgeous. It's stunning. It's perfect. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Russell's drinking water now. Oh, this is like a comedic sketch. We don't even have to write anything. Now it's the already dog happening. Is is hitting the food bowl he hits it like like there's gonna be some extra food yeah. that just drops like out of nowhere and it's almost like he's trying to guilt us like hey this is empty but i'm just still gonna keep trying to get more food it is sad it's not fun so we got we i propose on christmas morning you proposed on christmas morning and our parents were there and it was just like the six of us your parents and my parents and my parents are divorced like 15 years. So the fact that they were there together was so special to me. Yeah, that's cool. I felt like I was a little kid again. Just ignore <laughs> the noises, guys. There's a lot of noises <laughs> in this podcast. Just I bear with us. we have to just ignore it too. Is that possible? Yeah, just we ignore it. I, nothing's ha I mean, unless River needs us and he cries. River and Russell. And that's cool because now we can just say, oh, I got to go get some R&R. &R. Who's gonna say? It? I can say it. You're gonna go. Yeah, till I, I just get like, some R and R. If I'm out and about, I can just say R and R, and they think I mean rest. Ignore. Hey. Ignore. We're just look. We're parents, guys. This is this is it. And this isn't even bad. No, River's great. He's so well behaved. Look, I proposed. Okay, hold on. On Christmas morning. Well, but but Christmas Eve. Thought you I were... had blood in my urine we thought and we thought am i going into labor really at 36 that. weeks preggy and i had a secret proposal set up the next day and no one knew man had a i hunch, knew everything but no one actually knew knew no one knew <laughs> not even the parents and um i i was panicking a little deep down because i was like oh she's gonna go into labor and then i'm not gonna propose before the baby comes out and then when do i propose that's on you though 
because you waited really to the last second. I did wait. I did wait. But that's Johnny. He's so patient and slow moving. We got to knock. It's nice until you say slow moving. Pa he's so patient and extremely slow. He's like a tortoise. <laughs> tortoise? Is that noise annoying? Just let them go. It's the refrigerator, though. This mic is a, is a directional mic. Directional mic. It's going to be fine. I wish all mics and Michaels were directional, you know? Michaels? Rather than just like, oh, I'm aimless and I'm just going to screw everything that I see. It's like, get clear and intentional, Michael. <laughs> River's now sniffing River Russell's head. So having two <laughs> of our... Um, don't do two of the same letter names. Yeah, don't have your dog and your first child have the same r, r. It's too much. Yeah. My mom did that with Michelle and Manon. You guys have a half-sister named Michelle. And she always... My mom will call me Michelle. And I'm pr pretty sure she's called Michelle Manon. And Probably. I think that's just what parents do. And it's not an insult. It just is what it is. Because it's floating around in our unconscious mind. Anyway, the Christmas Eve was pretty like... I just laid around because everyone was like, lay down. You oh, yeah. could be in labor. I but I didn't feel anything. Know. But we, I had never seen blood before. Yeah, it was scary. Because there's a thing called mucus plug comes out. So I was like, is that it's, it? Is okay, this the story can we just pause plug? on mucus plug? Just hold for mucus plug. Hold for mucus plug. Hold it. Okay. It's a plug that protects the baby from bacteria. Mm -hmm. It's actually cervix. very useful. It closes, the, it keeps the cervix. Nice and tight. Hermetically sealed. <laughs> Hermetically. Um, okay. I proposed, I had a big fake box. Yeah. Um, I was I was really nervous. I was Big, up. meaning the size of a refrigerator. Mini fridge. What? Tall mini tall. fridge. tall. Yeah, but tall. Yeah, he know. wrapped it. Wrapped it with my dad. My dad had no clue what I was doing. I was, can you help me wrap this box as a gag gift? And he's like, of course. So we yeah, were, absolutely. Yeah, what's your sleep score? <laughs> and Johnny and I got aura rings for Christmas, and we get sleep scores every day, and he always beats me. Because I'm a better sleeper. But I beat the readiness score yeah. every day. So we're not in competition. <laughs> she rolls over and goes sleep score and then we go what's your sleep score what's your sleep score <laughs> um so i proposed and had a big fake box she opened it had her say i told she this is where she picked up she expected me to propose on christmas forever apparently but i, I wasn't saw it gonna. in my head when we were having thanksgiving i w we were looking at rings yeah because you were like i want to get you something you like i don't want to just guess and yeah. i was like that's smart because but i was actually last in january <laughs> <laughs> I, really thought, I really thought january was going to be it I was that's gonna, what's crazy is i think i knew his plan before he knew it so i'm curious if i put the plan in your mind telepathically or if i saw the future because around Thanksgiving, I thought, oh, you know what he'll do? He'll propose Christmas morning because it's such a magical time in front of our parents. So that's what I knew was going to happen. So isn't that a little wild? What came first? I had a conversation with Tara. But I didn't tell her what I thought you would do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know. I, I, it, was my, it was one of my plans. Christmas Tara's was, my friend from seventh grade. Yeah, Christmas was one of my plans the whole time. I was like, all right, this would be a good plan to do. But I thought... Maybe just all the friends in in uh, in L.A. But then once our parents were together, I was like, oh, this is it. This is it. This is perfect. It's it's beautiful. It's simple. It's tight-knit family. Boom. So it was. Yeah, our really parents fun. got to witness us getting engaged. Yeah, that's fun. That's really sweet. I was shaking. I was like shaking. I've never seen you nervous before. I was really trembling. And it's so Aww. funny because I, I, none of me is like, she might say no. I could have said no. For fun? Easily. Easily could have said no to your proposal. This close. But then I decided we're having a baby. Yes. How swine. Sweet. Swine. A swine. Yeah, I never, I would have said, I, I mean, I told Johnny a year ago, if you proposed to me, I'd say yes. And before because that, Because before though, that, I was like, we are never getting married. She literally, we started this relationship. She's like, we're never getting married. And I was like. Something you need to know about me is uh, marriage is trauma. I was kind of like a little kid. And it means it guarantees nothing. I know. I wanted it. I was like, never? I was like, it's not looking good. I've got to say that marriage literally uh, doesn't guarantee anything. 
And that was obviously from my previous experience and was coming from a fear-based thought and not from the abundant thinking that like, oh, that was just one experience that doesn't equate the rest of time and the rest of men and marriage. You said that a lot. Marriage marriage guarantees nothing. I was like, what guarantees anything? Okay, but it's still fun. Yeah, I but, nothing, do it. it's still, but it's still fun. Yeah, I still <laughs> want to do something. <laughs> I know. I think about how I felt about marriage before that first sham of a marriage and uh I, I really it's was experience. hopeful about it so i'm i'm getting back there and i'm really excited to marry you oh that's fun to hear i don't get a lot of opportunities to call her my fiance maybe i do i just don't notice but like, well that's because you have to, to talk say, about me yeah what i talk about you i talk about a you lot every day. but i just say Bring man you up in the work calls I make workhouse. reservations for me and my fiance. I uh, two for me and fiance. Why do you we want to sit in the uh, back corner. Good lighting, but not too lit, not too cold. You sound like Family Guy guy. Yeah, not cap. Pe- yeah, 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 the cap. Not Peter, not wheelchair Peter. cap. Peter. All right, come on, Peter. Let's. Uh, Lois, how does he sound? Lois. Peter. Stewie. You talking about Stewie? No, I'm talking about the Peter. What does Peter sound like? Peter, uh, Lois. More like that. It's, Lois. It's, 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 yeah. You almost sounded like the guy that talks like. Are you kidding? <laughs> We're That's live. How rusty, damn dad. How rusty are you at podcasting? Uh, very. The, the stand is great, but it keeps dropping with the weight Story of the world. Story of my life with your dick. <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm feeling fancy today because I'm not pregnant anymore. Yeah, you're not pregnant. Feels Wait, so good. We got engaged. Okay, we got engaged. We thought you were gonna have the baby. Our parents we were like, jumped up. Second. I said yes. There was no spiel before the. By the way, I'm just trying to paint a picture. He, I was unwrapping the gift. I turn around and he's down on one knee and says, "Man and Lucy Matthews, will you marry me?" And I shake my head and no, I no, start no. crying. You shake your head. Oh wait. And then no, she, I don't shake my head. No, I turn back. Then she, t- she goes, and she turns back to finish unwrapping the <laughs> gift, the fake gift. No. You turn I back and you turn. I took a beat. I took a beat because I thought I was in the middle of something you still. Turn I realized, back. oh, that's not. It's on camera. You turn back, you reach for it, and then she goes, what am I doing? Yeah, let me be present here because this is where the magic is. That's how. Show me the ring. <laughs> that's how little OCD you are. It's hilarious. Oh, man. It was pretty funny. Good times. And then our parents jumped up and were crying and hugged us, and it was really special. Yeah, it was really and nice. And then the whole day, I was just like staring at my ring, which I wish I had on right now. Oh, it's okay. I wish I could go like this, and then it lifted up out of the box and then dr- floated right onto my finger. They had that function for 30000 I said no. I'm glad. I don't, wouldn't want you to waste it on that. Yeah. I can lift my finger and put it on. Yep. It's creepy. That's like Thor. This hammer. <laughs> That's your engagement ring? Yeah. I'm married. Engaged. When are we going to get married? Who knows, dude? Chill. One thing at a time. I'm not. I'm chill. You, you keep could, this up. You I'll disengage. You could literally say in 10 years, and I'd be like, great. I don't care. 10 years. We're I feel like we're already married. We're disengaging. Don't you feel like we're already married? Yeah, I do. When we got engaged, up until when we had the baby, were you not like, oh yeah, we're engaged because it already feels like we're married. It feels like what we did caught up to our reality. Amen. Hallelujah. When Once you're pregnant with a man's baby, you're pretty committed if you choose to be to if each his own. Yeah, if you decided to do I'm, that. I'm just saying, I didn't. Because we did decide to jump it. on that. We did that. We decided to have the baby and that was like the proposal really. Yeah, I, there, there's something more we, commitment we cried, than being like, there. let's create life together. But... Um, so you had two proposals. I proposed to you on the couch saying, do you want to make a baby with me? And I said, yeah, I do. And then it happened faster than anyone expected. And it happened a lot quicker than we had anticipated. Thought we had some time, but God yeah. knew because I got my Aquarius baby, baby. <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't upset him. Sorry. Right um, all right, let's, let's get into the... The nitty gritty. Let's get into labor. So from Lightning Christmas... <laughs> lightning crotch to labor it was a lot of just hanging out and waiting around and and we left christmas so fast because we thought it could happen any second oh my god now that i knew that it wasn't coming on the 36 weeks i would have loved to stay extra like through new year's because yeah. i love being up north with we, your family. we rushed back we're like we gotta go because like, it, it could happen never now and that's a lesson learned 
Well, what lesson? Okay, look. What is the no, lesson? No, there's, there's no lesson. In pregnancy, there is no through line. There is no standard. There's no one way. There's no, The like, only one way to do, the only one thing that you have to do is in get, sperm the egg. And it has to come out. At some point it comes out. Of the body. It gets made and it comes out. That's the only thing you know about yeah, your pregnancy. one way or another. Everything else, variables, we random, don't know. chance. Timing, the way it comes out, medicated, unmedicated, where the location is, at what point, some people, some babies. Early, late, early, on time. <laughs> dang, fastest Heavy. birth was 27 seconds, longest was like, what, 125 days? Looked it up. It's a lot. Because I was trying to beat the 27 second record, and I did not come close people i was okay, very so, far off <laughs> so that one day lightning crotch started you're like whoa lightning crotch oh on the walk mm -hmm. we went on a walk and i got lightning crotch date? which 120... is shooting pain in the vagina january 20th sure something like that yeah no maybe it was on the due date once we hit the due date you know i was walking around town being like i'm due today 19th yeah oh yeah so it was 19th yeah, it probably was 19th yeah, we did some extra walking. She started feeling some, whoa, some weird things. And we don't know what's what. And everyone says, you'll know when it starts. You'll know. And, I and she's like, is this it? I'm like, yeah, I didn't know. And I was like, I don't know. I can't there tell was you. one night even when I thought I was feeling contractions because we had spicy food. And I was moving around the house like I was on a mushroom journey. And, and she I just had like, to fart. Shut the fuck up, Daniel. <laughs> No, I spent an hour like breathing, thinking, feeling contra what I thought were contractions. And that was like two weeks before I actually gave birth. So who we knows so what off. the deal we is. We were so off for so long. So then um, what happened? So we went to that checkup. They did the test. They did the um, stress test on your belly. Oh, but before baby. that, they were like, you're 50% effaced in your cervix. How do you it's explain one. that? And I was no, I wasn't even dilated yet. Wasn't dilated and at all. And then so we then if we went. Faced home. means how how thin or thick the cervix is. That's good because I forgot what the meaning of a faced is. So yeah. sometimes I hear things and then I decide not to keep the information in my brain. You do that a lot. Yeah, yeah you do that a lot. I What's your name? Yeah, doesn't matter. Henry. It's cute. Fiance. Goes fiance. Just call me fiance. My fiance. You okay, so yeah, we were going through that. We went to that appointment. And then we were late. like, okay, let's go get the, the salad. There's a secret salad in Studio City called the labor salad. Where? Because balsamic apparently is supposed to really just drip it out of you. <laughs> so I ate the salad. It was pretty good. Didn't do anything. I ate spicy chips because I and was spicy lazy. Wings. I was, oh yeah, wings. wings. Um, yeah, nothing was really doing it. I mean, I could have done more. I was doing the red leaf raspberry tea every day that i was doing a lot and primrose Some evening primrose oil where you just put it up your wazoo and then wait for magic to happen i think yeah. that's why i thought maybe i am leaking because it was just the oil seeping yeah. out of the batch but you did the stress test with the doctor she wanted a stress test on the morning of the 23rd we went in yeah. and then at 40 weeks four days Stress test. And then checked. Stress test was good. It came back good. Easy peasy. And checked the fluids. Then she checked the fluids. Fluid. She said, oh, you're a centimeter and you're 50% of face. I was like, that's good because that's more than zero. We're on our way. And then she said, your fluid's at four. Should be at five or above. It's low. You could be leaking. Fluid could be getting into his lungs. We're going to want to induce you today. We're like, huh? Because we always imagined rushing to the hospital when water breaks. That's all I imagined in my whole life. Well, and with you. Yeah, and that's and she's like, like we're going to go in inducing, and we're going to start the process. Inducing is not part of my birth plan at all. Not even a little. I didn't even think about that being a possibility. I never considered induced. that. Induced. I thought you'd die before induce. Well, calm down. Sorry. That's aggressive. That's dark. But I went dark. You go dark. You go dark or you go home. So we were pretty disappointed to hear about this induction. Confu you were disappointed. I was just Oh, I was very confused. disappointed. I was like, it better. I Maybe I could go into labor naturally before this induction. We did push going in. Because I kind of heard that like induction isn't pleasant, right? Like it's not great. But I didn't know why it wasn't great. I just knew it wasn't great. I didn't know why it wasn't great. <laughs> but I found out why. It's not ideal. 
So she said, come in a few hours, which would have been like 2 p.m. I was like, when's the latest we can come? She's like, 5 p.m. And I was like, let's go at 7 p.m. Because <laughs> I just thought, like, we almost thought about ignoring and not going and sp yeah. spending one more night at home because that was the doula's recommendation. Damn doula. So much resentment. Um, we can get in that later or not. So we really thought about it we were like maybe we'll just stay home one more night but obviously we couldn't do that because when you say the baby's lungs could be filling with yeah, it liquid lead you can't infection. just be like sorry i'm gonna ignore that information so did, she Scary. said it might lead to infection and then we're like oh all right well i guess we go in because we don't know anything yeah and when i did like meditate on it i did feel more called to go in yeah for whatever reason so we go and we pack all our, all the stuff's like we the had, go bags are going. We're yeah, just like, we were, we're just walking, like walking into the. Which is so weird to walk in. Just it wasn't what we expected. Even the valley guys like, where are you headed? We're like to we, labor. Yeah, labor and delivery. And he said, "What are you delivering?" I'm and like, I said, a baby. "A baby." And he's like, "Oh my bad." Oh my bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go go. Anyway, why didn't he know what? It's know. a hospital. It's confusing. There's not much more. It's a maternity ward. No, there's a lot of wards. Oh. But. Uh, we live. We learn. <laughs> So after that, we're Maybe in there. Maybe it was his first day. We're in there. Staff is amazing. Nurses are great. Oh, and the, the hospital. St. John's, Providence. Shout, shout out. Impeccable. Amazing. Beautiful room. I would hang out there. Yeah. I'd go back. And people told us that. They're like, you're not going to want to leave. You're going to love it. Yeah, it's so really nice. I highly recommend it. I don't recommend Blue Shield 1750 Silver PPO because it did cost us thousands of dollars and even more thousands let's see. i can't you'll cry it's stressful let's talk about that later okay stay in the good stuff all right insurance is really tricky and we don't know i don't get uh, what it we're doing and we i was with oscar they were gonna were cover but then they dropped me because i left california so i had three weeks to scramble to just find insurance that worked with the st john's okay cool <laughs> made some stupid choices hopefully they'll prorate it anyway so what happened we started that they we get in we get comfy and they say they want to use the the oral no they say we can give you side attack we can do the balloon theory <laughs> i don't know if it's a theory it's and or pitocin and but we can start you from easiest tamest to the most intense induction medication. So I had to take being tamous. At this point, it's like 7 o'clock, and we're like checking in and doing vitals and paperwork. 7 p.m. Se what I say? No, just 7. Oh, God. 7 p.m. on the 23rd. January 2024. So we go in. We say we want to keep it chill. We want to do side like, attack. Yeah, they want to do the balloon with the side attack. Yeah, which balloon goes into your cervix and inflates and expands your cervix. And tries to get you to five centimeters. And then it gets your body to go, oh, I think it's labor. So we wanted to keep it as natural as possible. Manon is a speedy gal. She wanted to keep speedy. And I'm impressed with what happened. Good things happened. Yeah, with the side attack, it's a little pill that goes in the mouth. And you take one every four hours, six times. Which Up would have been how times. long is that? 24, 24 hours. Because when we walked in, they're like, you're going to be here for three 24 days. 24 to 48 hours. We're like, huh? I was like, what? No, we're in and out. Like, no, we're done, dude. <laughs> we just easy, finished. Easy, done. It's we're almost already over. <laughs> we're not doing this. We're already over. Manon likes things done quickly. Yeah, so um, shout out to Manon. They gave her, well, you only got two doses. Two doses of it and then labor about, I don't know, like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. I have videos of her. Uh, uh, and that I thought was like, oh, here's labor. That wasn't it. That was cute. That was cute. What came later was insane. Yeah, I was at a pain level seven around 1 a.m. And they're like, we can't give you any more. Because your pain's too high, so no more of the artificial labor. And then they came back and checked, like, look, you're in labor. We've, we've, you've kicked into labor from this but medication. But you're only two centimeters. But her labor was every two minutes. She was having contractions, which were getting much and much stronger. It's they not were like getting five, really strong eight minutes. really it was, fast. It was one and a half to two and a half minutes I was watching. Apart, which in regular labor. It's like five, I think. Thing. No, it can be like 20 minutes apart, yeah, yeah, yeah. then 15, then 10 minutes apart. As and it you comes can down. like sleep during it. You ramped right in because of the inducing. Yeah, there's no way I could have slept during <laughs> contractions. Yeah. That's the difference between being induced. You go from zero to 100 way quickly and the contractions are man-made. No, 
medically artificial. artificial and it makes contractions i don't know 100 times more painful i would imagine yeah so we're in there that's happening those uh turn into some real pain screaming and you were sweet she was i always wonder if she'd be like f you yeah i didn't do that no you didn't i've done that more this week than the yeah. during labor yeah you really like we really i think we really came together as a team i was i thought i thought i don't know i felt really close to you oh my gosh I feel very good about our little well, situation. Well, up until 10.30 a.m., I was screaming for the epidural, which was not part of the plan. I was going to go unmedicated and all that. Now. You had a plan. You were like, yeah, you definitely had a plan. I didn't want to be bothered. But you always had epidurals if it was a fallback. Yeah, I did. I was like, if I need an epidural, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to like be prideful about it. But I, you know, in my head was like, I'm not going to need it. <laughs> You were pretty I confident. was very wrong. You you, you exhausted yeah. all your options. I you really did, did laughing gas. I tried laughing gas. We Hot. went in the shower for like an hour and you were pushing on my hips. Look, I'm going to say this. I don't know how long anything was. Everything that happened for Time like stood all still. happened in like one hour, but it was like... But it wasn't. It was hours. It was like 10, 12 hours. You think that all felt like an hour? Oh yeah. my God. It felt a lot longer to me. My mind has just like pulled it all together really tight. And I'm like, okay, so in that tra- time... It was traumatic. You were really struggling. It really hurt my heart. Yeah. It was hard to watch. It was really hard. You were like about to faint, rolling your eyes back. Mm-hmm. That's how much pain you Oh, were yeah. In. My legs were shaking. I was shaking. Eyes rolling back. And you're like, I can't. I can't. I can't. Oof. That's Oof. a lot. Don't Oof. live it too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> and funny enough, doing laughing gas. Funny enough. Sorry. Interestingly enough. In- painfully enough. Doing laughing gas, trying all the other things. Hot shower, really. That was better. Hot shower helped a lot. Yeah, it made me understand like a whole warm bath, home birth, why they do it in water. Yeah. Because the warm water is really relaxing for the body. Didn't take the pain away, but it made it, it made it, it worked more effectively than the laughing gas. You were still struggling. So then I was screaming for the epidural and the guy who gives it was in surgery. They, so they're like, no one's here to do it. You and they have to wait look, a couple hours. They even asked earlier, like, are you going to want it? And you're like, you're like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And then they're well, like, because I thought now. maybe I was dilated nine centimeters. And then I was like, yeah, at this point, if it's now, I'll stick it out. And then they're like, well, and then you're like, I need it. And I go, hey, she Once they it. told they go, me I was only two centimeters, three centimeters, they're like, well, I don't even know what time. They're, I was like, okay, then I have to get it. I can't take this for another second. Yeah. It was the worst pain, obviously, that I've ever experienced, but I can't imagine anything more painful in my entire life. And once you committed to getting the epidural, they said he just went into surgery. Yeah, this and is then the it only took hours. He can't come out. And then this guy drew. And they got a backup guy, Dr. Drew. He was killer. He was amazing. He was great. He came in for the kill. He came in. What? And he was cheery, bright, easy peasy, quick, swift. Uh, cool. And at 1030, once that epidural hit, I felt so much better. And I, my personality came back and I got to relax. And just rest for even a few moments. It was heaven. I got to like reintroduce myself to the nurses. Hi, that woman you met before. I don't know who that is. I've never seen her in my life. <laughs> I'm Manon, and I'm here to make jokes. It was wild. And then you were like, that was really hard. And I was like, I looked at you and I was like, I can't even imagine because you've never seen me in that much pain. I've seen you stub a toe. <laughs> I've seen you still, but so. I've seen you have COVID with me. And we're like, ouch. Some period pain. I've seen period pain. It's like heating pads and stuff. Nothing. Me like screaming that. for hours and you nothing you can do about it. Ugh. Screaming for hours on the minute. Uh, every two minutes. There was no break. That's the problem with induction. Every two minutes, you had the worst pain in your life over and over. And all I could do was squeeze your hips, move your body. Squeeze your hips, move your body. Yeah, because you're not a trained doula. <sighs> Thank God someone gave you that tool of squeezing on the hips because it did make it better. Yeah. But it not it didn't go away. The pain did not go away. So from 1030 to about, I don't know, then they po- broke my water. To move I, things along. I went to four centimeters. This is then, where things got cool for man, and this is where you this is where you started like actually doing the speedy things you wanted. They're like, you know, it might it might be another forty eight hours. And we're like, no. Like, what? It's 
noon on yeah. the 24th. I need what? him to come so it's 1 24 24. You need that number. I'm sorry. No He's not going to come on the 25th or 26th. No way. It's That'd not, be disgusting. Yeah, it's gross. It's gross. <laughs> no Take offense it. to those that were born on those dates. If you're on the 25th or 26th, you it's are. not what we're saying. This has well, nothing saying. to do with you. You're pretty gross. Our son. Couldn't have been one Told of you. me four weeks that he was coming on the 24th. He spoke. I asked him in my meditations. I said, what day you coming? He kept telling me the 24th. And he was correct in right. window. Okay. So we get through that. So Epidural happens. Water breaks. Water break. Things start really moving. Yeah, then I'm six centimeters. I don't even know what time that was, I but I was know. six centimeters. I was like pleasantly surprised. I was good like, news great. After good news. And they're like, we want to give you Pitocin. I was like, ooh. Yeah, Pitocin ooh. is, is a, a lot stronger of a drug, and it's supposed to... Uh, some people say it's like not so good for the baby. It's a little harsh on the baby. So we were like, uh, we're going to hold off. Which was hard. Which they're I was like, like, are you sure? And we're like, sure, because it could be longer. Yeah, we're like, yeah, yeah, we're going to hold off. I was off. like, okay, we'll hold off for an hour, and we'll just see. Yeah. Then she came back and, and tested. I was, I was quiet and I was like, okay, my cervix is now opening easily, effortlessly to eight centimeters, which was overreaching because it's usually like an, a centimeter, centimeter per hour. Mm-hmm. She came back an hour later and was like, you're nine. We were like, and I was like, Whoa, yeah. I was like, damn, Zaddy. That's fun. <laughs> we doing this. By the way, being parents and doing this, um, one, having a dog, as you can see, there's, you know, sometimes we have to pause for that. And um, also, we had to pause for a breastfeeding. And I seamlessly tried to edit it so you did not know. Let me say this too. Manon was saying all I want after birth is sugar fish. Which is sushi. It's sushi. Nice sushi place. And she's like, all I want after birth is sugar fish. I want it in the hospital. That never happened. That never happened, yeah. yeah. Well, because they fed was, us pretty good. Traumatic. And I, I didn't, yeah, I was, uh, but I got it later. I've had it like four times. Okay, so... Dilated to nine centimeters. Centimeters. I was like, hell's yes. So we don't need the Pitocin. That's good news. We feel good. We're excited. We're like, yeah, okay, now we have the ball back in our court. We got control. We are, we're uh, moving things how we want to move. We're, we're, we're happy Except with it. Except I can't feel my legs and it's scary. And it makes, the epidural like numbs you. Mm-hmm. Some people feel, some people don't, the epidural doesn't work. Some people the epidural works a little too quick. Mm-hmm. For me and numb my whole legs, and I couldn't move down. Yeah, she's like, I want to turn this down a little bit. So another doctor came in. She's like, you can't turn it down. You can't turn it down, but you can turn it off. And then if you want more, click Press the button. button. So I turned it off. And then man that forgot was to ever hit mistake. the button again. Well, not forgot. I chose not to hit it. Forgot first, then chose. Because that. I thought. I'm at nine, about to be 10 centimeters. And when I are 10 centimeters, you push the baby out. I told her even your mom came in and I was like, should be another half hour. She's like, hmm. <laughs> I literally told her that. All right, I want everyone to stop right now. If you're listening to this podcast, stop right now and check in with yourself and say, when you're at 10 centimeters and the baby's about to be pushed, like the actual pushing part, how long does it take? I want you to ask yourself, how long does it take? If you've never had a baby. If you've never had a baby what your guess is, whether you know or not, write it down. Of how long it takes to push and then push out the baby. Yeah, how long that span of start to push to baby comes 10 centimeters out. is as big as you can get, by the way. Yeah. Okay, now that you have written down your answer, you can uh, grade yourself. So I was like, I'm turning off the epidural because I want to feel my legs, mm-hmm. just a little bit of mm-hmm. sensation. And then the guy came back, I was 10 centimeters. I was like, we're good to go. He's like, well, if you want more, just push this button yeah. and it'll turn back on. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to, I still can't feel my legs. So like, I'm not going to push the button. Nurse change, third we nurse We do a couple of the test night. pushes. We do some test pushes. They say practice pushes. Yeah, they ask I'm me. Like, if- practice for what? I'm just going to push them out. I don't need to practice. Yeah. We're ready. <laughs> he did say that. And then she's like, okay, well, let's do some anyway. And we did some. And he goes, oh, dad, do you want to look in? And I looked inside and I saw his, uh, I saw hair. On the top of his head. And I was like, it's really hard for me. It's really hard for me to like fathom what I was looking at. I just saw like the top of some head. So like a little bit of skin and hair. Yeah, so it was hard to fathom what I was seeing. I was looking at the top of our baby's head. And then he tried to take a picture and it kept getting blurry. That was weird. I took I her like, phone oh my God. and I tried to take a photo. And it, I've never seen this. The photo, the camera on the iPhone just kept max blurring. Max blur. It was like the, it was like a protection thing. It was weird. Then I took out my phone. I took a photo anyway. 
And then I looked at it and I went, ooh, so you've just been staring at that? Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. An engorged vagina. Yeah, it is. Uh, it does what it does. China. China vagina. China. Okay, so you're engorged China. We were going <laughs> forward with that. Did the tests. The shift change happened to the night nurses. And then uh, we went from what? Cheryl. Shirley. We went from Shirley to Sydney. They were both amazing. Um, Sydney came in and we started rocking with the pushing. And then you're like, get, you literally were like, all right, Sydney, we did some pushes with her. She's like, like right. let's go. We practiced. Like, Where's the doctor? You practiced, and she taught us that you have to push on the contractions. So we had to gauge your contractions. We found the rhythm. You started pushing on contractions. You did. A then I started tests. feeling contractions because she hadn't pressed the epidural. Because so the long. epidural was wearing off, and I and went, "Ooh, this is painful again." They're like, "You," sh I was like, "Should I push the epidural?" They're like, "You can, but then you really won't feel anything, and it might take longer to push." I was like, "Okay." I guess I'll keep it off and we'll just get this baby out of here. I and pushed. you really thought we're just going to get this baby out yeah, of here. Yeah, I did. Really I was like, why isn't the doctor in here? She literally was like, let's get the doctor in. She's like, oh, in. she comes at the last 15 minutes. I was like, well, how close are we? There's like, pushing can be like up to two, three hours. And then Manon's face goes. I went, what? Huh? <laughs> no, 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 I can already feel the contractions again. What do you mean hours? No, no, one, no one told me that. It's tough. Uh, it's like she she it's like she knew she was at the end of the race, and then someone said, "By the way, there's like ten more miles." And she was like, "Yeah, I was like, I thought I was about to cross the finish line. Why oh, are you telling me there's ten more miles?" I saw your face. I saw I your face. I was so upset when it landed. You were really shook. You were just like, "Excuse me." I was pissed. Oh man. And then we and then literally from then on, you got the rhythm of pushing on contractions, and you did not stop until he came out. Yeah. That's crazy. So for two and a half straight hours. Every two minutes. Every two minutes, I was pushing my vagina, trying to, they say like, it feels like you have to take a dump. Pushing. And push out your out of your back. butt. You have to hold your legs back. You have to arch your, you have to like, that's the way they do it in the, in the hospital. We switch your position. It's nothing like times. the videos that I saw at home births where you're just like squatting. Which honestly, that would have been a better position. I understand why squatting, like gravity. Why am I laying down? But you didn't have to go. The epidural, you, epidural you couldn't move. To, you couldn't really stand on your own two legs. But even if I could, I don't even know if that... Maybe. I know. maybe. We don't know anything. <laughs> we push. We change positions a couple times. Knees in sideways. We? You. <laughs> Just kidding. Johnny held my legs the whole time, which was nice. Leg. I got one leg. He was really supportive. Because when it got really bad and I was like, I can't do this, I can't do this. Like the cliche thing you see in movies. He's like, the only way is through. The only way is through, which made me feel like, okay, I have to do it, but I can't do it, but I have to do it. Every time you're pushing a little bit further, but then you what? You see the baby kind of pulsate in and out of like, oh, we're almost, oh, we're not there. Oh my, we're almost, there. oh, we're not there. So what's your experience of that? Part? So like this part where I'm, I'm like holding the leg, pulling back, pulling her neck forward so that I can help crank the angle for her. And then I'm looking and oh man the best way to explain it is like it's not just like i don't know what, what groundhog's day i always thought it just opened the baby came out opened baby came out no it's like a jar is coming out it's like it's all moving forward a jar yeah it's like a jar is like cylind cylindrically leaving your vagina so it got to the point at the end where his head was coming out the doctor came set up all the gear we have the team in the room of a bunch of women like yelling and hollering like we're yeah why were there game. so many women coming let's in let's go push, i swear they on. like were like brought in the students yeah, it was a do lot. they not know i'm a high class celebrity a-lister i don't know i did write it on the board you should have i, I don't said, think they realize like you're, said, you can't come in here i said a-list i said a yeah well they the didn't get door. the memo and they just invited everybody all these randos yeah. were looking at my vagina watching me push you get the a f out of here get out of the room why are you all here you did autographs after too you were tired in blood Ooh. so um river's head was coming out and they're like there you go there i could hear everyone the doctor's like there you go there you go here we go here we go here we go here we go, here we go. and his head would come out like to a certain amount and then man and be out of juice because you get three pushes 10 seconds each and then he'd go back in no and i'd be like oh and she got to the point where manon was looking pretty tired and she was doing the work and then like 
she was like, how much more I can't do this? Like the pain was really kicking back in for you. Like you really felt the pain yeah. full fledged again. Yeah, all the trauma was coming back that I had experienced that morning. Almost to like your eyes rolling back a little bit yeah. again. Like it was like the full pain was yeah, there. Yeah, couldn't do it. And then I just, that's, that's when I said like the only way is through. I said, man, and you, you have, you do You're one so, more. You said I was pushes. so close. You said that statement, one or two more pushes. But you said it like 15 times. Did I? Yeah, you said it a lot. And so each time you said it, I was like, I don't know if he really means it because I thought he meant it last push. (laughs) It It didn't happen. (laughs) But his head was coming out and going back. And then the craziest part is she did like the final push and his head fully came out all the way to the chin out and his little purple face and then like spun around. His head spun and I was like, oh my God. This So you just saw a head out of my body. Just a head and this elongated alien head. And they went, oh, cord around the neck. And then she, the doctor reaches in and then pulls a cord out of your vagina around his neck. And then the rest was easy. You, you gave another push and he just spun and his shoulders just came out as he, he spun And you out. watched that? Did you watch that part? Yeah. Holy moly. I saw him I saw him spin and come out and then she just picked him up. Yeah. Oh my God. I can't remember that part as clearly. I remember his head like crazy. And it felt like, oh, like the biggest release of my life. And he was but supposed was like, to be seven pounds. But he was eight pounds, one ounce, which is a very big baby for my little body. You guys don't know, but I am little. I have a big head. It's misleading. Huge head. But my little waist, I have like a little waist, I think. Yeah, well, not like out, so little. He came out eight pounds, one ounce. We just thought it was going to be smaller because Johnny was like six and a half pounds. I was six pounds, seven ounces. So for him to be eight pounds, why was he so big? He was eating good. Eating good. Lots of bacon. <laughs> And uh, he handed, they handed me the baby, River, and I was just like this. Just shook. Shook, shaking, shaking like I had the shivers. And uh, it was really scary. It was not that moment of like, here's your baby. And I'm not, like, oh, <laughs> I love you. It was like trauma, 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 shock, shock, shock. The craziest part was seeing his hands moving on your chest and i was like that's i was like that i had a disassociation like, why moving? i was like that's mine i was like that's me i was like very confused i was like confused that's me and i touched his skin and i was like whoa and i did i grabbed the umbilical cord i felt the pulse like i, well, I felt it slow down a little bit before they i cut it yeah you're supposed to wait until they're done and we also had the cord blood saved they had to keep the cord blood yeah because we did cord blood and all that. We did all the things. Placenta encapsulation. Cord, cord blood. blood. Stem cell keeping. We did it all. But the pulse was like chill. It wasn't like good, 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 good. It wasn't that at okay, all. Okay, good. She waited one minute before I touched it. And then I touched it and I was like, okay, that's like slowing down a lot. It felt pretty slow. It felt like it was no real pulse. But it was just weird to see him moving on you kind of purple and then I'll, and his head was oh he looked like an like alien football it was like cuz the head sh- changes size so that it can yeah. fit out of the 10 centimeters because every single woman cervix is the same exact size no matter how big or small you are it's all 10 centimeters so their head has to fit through and then it kind of goes back down over the f- few days i was scared when he first came out i thought oh he has a head injury cuz it was like a bubble it was like a bubble back there. It really was scary. If you saw it the way I saw it, you'd be scared. So that's that. 20 inches, five, 20.5 inches long. Like um, River Con Carlson, K A A N, Turkish. Turkish for name. King of Kings. He's a quarter Turkish, so I needed my boy to have some. River Turkish Con name. Carlson. River Con Carlson. People are like, what about Matthews? Because they called him Baby Matthews in the ho- in the hotel, <laughs> in the hospital, and that was cute. That could be a nickname, Baby Matthews. Baby Matthews. Because I like my last name, and I want him to feel like we have, but it didn't make sense. I don't know. I just always saw him with a Carlson last name, so I was like, all right, that's fine. I don't have an attachment really to it. Although the last week I got released, not this last week, but the week before I gave birth, I was like, what about my last name? Shouldn't we share it? What's my connection to him? Well, eventually, you are going to have my last name to some degree. Will I? I can't change my name from Manon Matthews to Manon Carlson. I could maybe Manon Matthews Carlson. 
Or I just don't, I don't know. Are people still changing their names? Jolie Pitt just sounds a lot easier than Matthews Carlson. I don't know. But we can be the Carlsons. Or we can give our next kid my last name. And That's it's confusing. me against you. <laughs> so oh, are they are they from the same parents? Yeah. Yeah. They, they have different last names because last names. they. Who knows? The the wife was out of her mind after that first baby. She experienced so much trauma that she got on medication and made her crazy. I didn't get on any medication. I did make. I did take my placenta encapsulations. But then I felt like I was getting headaches from it, so I stopped. You could test it again because you don't actually know. I don't actually know. Yeah. I haven't had any headaches. Okay. And that's how we have our son. That's River. how we had our son. 9.20 p.m., 1.24.24. Had it been two hours and 20 minutes more, he would have been born a different day. He is an Aquarius, Virgo rising, Cancer moon, and in human design, he's a projector, a 3-6. Johnny's has a 3 at the beginning of his profile. I have a 6 at the end of mine. He is our son. And Johnny is a projector. If you don't know what any of that means, that's totally normal. Most neither people do don't because Johnny doesn't either. I don't either. And we love our son. So much. We and love I him love, more every second. And I love you. The craziest thing we've ever done. My love for Johnny somehow got even deeper and we just had the most insane experience of our lives. And that was so deepening and loving to amazing. get to do that with you. It was amazing. You were so supportive and amazing. Oh. I'm so happy. I just wanted to be a rock for you. You were. To the best of my ability. You are. You are my rock. How many days out are we from the hospital? His, his, his birthday? Eight, seven? No. Right like now? 14, 15, 16. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. He's like 16 or, he's like 17 or 18 days old right now. Seven days. He's 17 days old. At least two and a half weeks. And now he's weighing like nine pounds, three ounces. And every day is a new journey. Every day you learn something new. Every day something different happens. So... I guess if we keep doing our serious but funny, we'll have a lot to share. Stay broke. <laughs> That's a uh, shout out to the um, Jolly, Jolly Couple. couple. They are favorite. so sweet. They're so sweet. They came by the other night and we all had dinner and they were so jolly. <sighs> Clive is, he's, he's doing the improv stuff, I think. He's getting he's funny. He's getting funny. Yeah. And Connie's just. Connie's on fire. She's. She's really funny. She just had a baby, too. Yeah. They had an 89-hour labor. That was sucks. wild. That sucks. Sucks for them. But they were, seemed happy about it. They seemed literally jolly. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to have them over again. It'd be fun. We love you guys. Thank you for tuning, tuning in. Five stars, please. And uh, leave a nice review. Uh, or not. But subscribe. Yeah. If you want. You know? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>